Hello once again, I am Anthonological. I recently noticed that it's been a year since Creationist of the Week first hit YouTube. One year! Where does the time go? Anyway, I thought we'd celebrate by checking this absolutely beautiful clip of Ray Comfort losing a bet. Self-purchase the pottery. Oh no, show me the chapter and verse. I don't have it on me, do you? I, I will give you a hundred dollars right now, cash. Where's your Bible? Someone give him a Bible. If you can tell me <laughs> where Jesus... <laughs> we got a lot of you here. bought a Bible? Hundred dollars cash on the spot. Um, seriously, he gets a hundred dollars cash if he shows me where Judas purchased the field for the sunbites. Uh, I, I have a chapter. Oh, 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 hundred dollars right here. Right here, on camera? Right now, right here. Right here. Right now, this man, not now the Pharisees, oh. now this man acquired a field with the price of his wickedness. Oh, sorry. Let me read it in the scripture. I hope you got cash on you, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> you have a room full of witnesses. What's the reference? The oh glass, yeah. There's Full more witnesses here than there were in Jesus' resurrection, that's for sure. Right? <laughs> so what is the contradiction you're saying? You're saying the Pharisees, in the other version, the Pharisees buy the field. In this one, no, not the, Judas yeah. buys the field with the money he kept, did not return to the Pharisees. So who bought the field? Judas. Judas bought the field. And in the other version that you were quoting, the Pharisees bought the field. Okay, I'll give you $100. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Yes, Mr. Frodo. It's over now. Unfortunately, it's not actually over. Keep watching. Yeah, are you telling me you just admitted to a contradiction in the Bible? No, no, I'm not. Oh, not admitting to No, I'm saying I made a mistake about what it says. So, the Bible isn't wrong. Ray is. Who knew? Anyway, luckily for our random guy, there just happened to be a different Bible ready to prove that Ray was, at the worst possible time for him, correct. No, no, here we come, YouTube. Well, find the other He brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. So there you have it. Ray getting schooled so badly, he can't get out of it, no matter what he tries. It's a shame we don't have video evidence of Ray admitting there are biblical contradictions uh, since the video is cut short, but it, I hope it was still fun to see. I certainly see it as a victory worth showing off on COTW, especially for our first anniversary, because it's just the sort of thing I try to go for with this series. Uh, I always look for uh, rational discussion, even though it's it's mostly for, for comedy and entertainment, uh, I really do uh, look for um, genuine discussion and to make progress. Anyway, uh, next week we'll be doing Ian Juby. Look out for that. I'm Anthonological. Thanks for watching.